Wow, okay. So let's show you guys. That is pretty decent amount of oil in here. What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Central and welcome to the channel. So it's been over 3,000 miles. I'm actually gonna go hop in the car and look at the trip odometer to see exactly how much it's been because I know that it's over 3,000 miles, which means I'm getting pretty close to an old change soon. But as stated in my first video with the install of the Mishimoto oil catch can, I said I would do a review on 3,000 miles to see how much oil this catch can actually catches on the 392 six four hemi in my car as you can maybe see oh no craig's hiding he's behind the craig's actually working on his silverado he's been having issues with that my silverado's still down whatever let's get in here let's see how many miles we actually have since i installed the catch can All right, so just shy of 3,600 miles. I've been driving the car a lot, um, long story short. So let's get the camera set up, and I gotta get these gloves on because it is going to be, well, I already know it's hot. I already touched it earlier, but that's warm. I mean, it's metal, it's in the engine bay, it's hot. So let me get the camera set up. Let me get these gloves on. And then we got this right here. Hopefully it's not more than 60 milliliters. If it is, then we will do multiple pours to see how much oil we catch. All right, so we got the gloves on. We're gonna do this. Cool thing about most catch cans, well, anyways, this one's mounted. Can literally just leave it attached. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna spin the bottom off. This thing is warm. This hose is really hot. <laughs> I just got home from work, guys, too. So the car's just been driven. It's like 98 degrees today. There we go. Really don't want to drop this. All right. Okay, come on. <laughs> wow okay so let's show you guys that is pretty decent amount of oil in here let's see exactly how much it is hey Craig you actually want to do me a favor and come hold this while I can pour and not get it all over everything So, look at how much that is. Oh my. That's actually quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so let's, you good? Yes. All right. So, I wish I had a level spot in the sun here that I could put it, and I don't. Maybe we can just do it over here. Huh? No, I think, I mean, the... So there we go. Right at 40 milliliters. That's quite a bit. Actually, I don't need that anymore. 
So the purpose of this catch can is to catch oil from, oh, sorry, camera's not even where I need it to be, is to keep it from blowing back and going in through your intake. So you gotta think my car had almost 50,000 miles on it, or right at 50,000 miles before. So these Hemis are notorious for blowing oil back in through the intake, which is just not good for your motor. It gunks up everything and just, I am no engineer, but it is a poor design. So that's why these catch cans are so important to have. Whew. This is hot guys. I've only been outside 10 minutes and I'm like dripping sweat, literally. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna clean this out. As you can see, you know, we got all but a little bit left in there. Whew. It is hot and humid. So we're gonna clean out the catch can, we're gonna go ahead and spin it back on, but literally that is how easy it is to get or to catch your catch can, to check your catch can and see how much oil. So I'm gonna do a little bit more research and see if that is good or bad. I'm not quite sure. Whole 40 milliliters to, you know, almost 3,600 miles of driving. Uh, maybe y'all can chime in on the comments below. Those, those who know more about this than I do, uh, I've done very basic research on it. So those of y'all who are more intelligent and know more about it, please chime in down below and tell me if it's good or bad. Let me know. Ooh, I'm dripping sweat. So let me, uh, I'm gonna cut this real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put the catch can back on and I'll be back. All right guys, so we got this completely cleaned out. We're just going to literally spin it back on. Get it nice and snug. Ow! I did it again. It's hot. It's hot. It's really hot, and it was the water pump. I'm gonna have a burn on my forearm from that. And I recorded it for YouTube. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, okay, so I burnt my arm. Actually, I burnt it twice. I did it not on the camera, too. So this is the Mishimoto oil catch can for the 6.4 Hemi. A lot of other catch cans you'll see are mounted right here. The uh, billet specialties and the off-brands you see on eBay and whatever. They come with a little Z or L bracket or whatever, and they're right here. Um, different placement, same concept. Again, like I stated, man, if any of y'all are very knowledgeable about this, please chime in down below so that other people can get the information too based upon if 40 milliliters is a lot or it's okay. I know my buddy has a catch can on his 2JZ swapped uh, Lexus GS300 and he never gets oil in it. So, anywho... That's it guys, I'm gonna sum this up. This was just a quick video so that I could do a quick review to show that this catch can, Mishimoto, is actually working. It is doing what it's supposed to and the car is actually blowing a lot of oil through the intake if you do not have one. I have a buddy who just did lifters on his exact car as mine. It's a 6.4 Hemi SRT 300 and he said everything was gunked up, so he immediately put a catch can on after redoing the lifters and other stuff. So I'm going to say that a catch can is a must. Of course, I love all the Mishimoto. I got the Mishimoto Overflow, uh, the Mishimoto Thermostat. That was in another video before. Anywho, I'm done, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If it was helpful, subscribe hit that bell for notifications i'm always doing events i'm doing you know diys reviews as much as i can to be helpful in this genre of cars so i'll see you guys on the next video take care